Hello, good evening. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Hello. How are you today? Ready. Oh my God, I'm tired. Your classmates are a little bit late today. It's eight. No, it's eight o'clock. So, did you have a good time? Did you have a good day today? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Excellent. Perfect.
Everybody's coming. Hello, guys. Welcome. I was waiting for you. How are you? A hard day. It's been hard. Yes. Exhausted. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> es el ombligo de la semana. Fortunately, yes. Plans for the weekend? No plans? Sleep all day. Okay, that's good. Yeah. We need some rest. Okay. Um. Oh, ir al volcano con la muchacha esa. Justo, justo iba a, 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 a pensé en eso y qué pasó con las invitaciones, con, con las citas. Lo vamos a lograr, no lo vamos a lograr. No, ya ni me acuerdo si me invitó o quién me invitó a mí. I don't remember. Hazel, Hazel creo que lo invitó. Sí, ¿verdad? No, no se ha conectado Hazel. Ah, um, no, no. Karina es del otro grupo. Es que con el otro grupo se me puso un domingo muy apretado. Todos querían salir conmigo el domingo. Ok. Eh, well, I was planning. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Tenía pensado algunos, creo que quizás. I finished it. Okay, perfect. Congrats, congratulations. Y si no, ¿Y tú? Okay, good, very good. Um, A mí me falta el examen final, pero oh. estoy muy... He tenido bastante inconvenientes ahí ahí voy anoche ah. inicié pero casi no no pude avanzar mucho ok 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 igual Phoenix teacher perfect congratulations guys yes hay varios hay muchos que ya culminaron terminaron van casi terminar entonces eh, había pensado yo eh, Hacer, hacer algunos ejercicios de la plataforma. O sea, hacerlo yo y ustedes van viendo eh, cómo, cómo, cómo va lo de la plataforma, ¿no? Para que vayan viendo. O, o, o de hecho, o sea, verme, pero la idea era, eh, me imagino todos estarán en su computadora, porque desde el teléfono es complicado, ponernos todos al mismo tiempo. Sí, entramos al mismo ejercicio todos al mismo tiempo y trabajar sobre algunos ejercicios. El problema es que, bueno, los que ya terminaron, pues, ¿qué van a hacer ellos? Eh, ese, ¿no? Pero creo que ya varios van muy avanzados y qué bueno para los que ya terminaron. Los que ya terminamos podemos seguir practicando más. Oh, claro, claro. Yo tuve unos problemas con los del presente simple. Simple present. Entonces, de hecho, creo, ya uh -huh. no me acuerdo. Sí, creo que con ese. Entonces, y ahí me ayudaron algunos uh -huh. compañeros. Ok. Uh -huh. Qué bueno, igual que algunos... Eh, eh, son muy colaboradores ahí he visto no sé si son ustedes porque ahora estoy en muchos grupos de repente escriben no sé en qué, qué grupos están, aún no los reconozco por nombres que aparecen ahí pero ahí están no mandando eh, capturas, miren y, y esto no, no, no lo entiendo cómo va esto y ahí hay varios ah oh, no, eso es así eh, tiene que hacer eso 
Este grupo cycle. así hace, teacher. Algunos apoyan. Exactly. So, eh, los agradecimientos para los que se prestan a colaborar. Uh -huh. Ok, so, let's begin. Um, let's see. Ok, uh, uh, creo que un día de esto les dije que no me agrada mucho Zoom, ¿verdad? Es que para contarles un poquito, eh, toda la tarde trabajo así en línea. Mm, eh, con otra oficina, con otro empleo, eh, en, e igual eh, dando clases, pero trabajamos con Google Meet. Entonces de Google Meet me salto para acá con ustedes, con Zoom y con Meet he estado trabajando desde que todo esto comenzó y Zoom lo encuentro muy no sé. Es que, es que donde es Zoom y Teams son las mejores plataformas para hacer conferencias de videollamadas y para poder proyectar. Mejores no lo sé, no compartiría yo esa idea. Es que yo de la universidad trabajo con Teams y cómo se llama y sí es pues para mí siento mejor usar Teams que 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 ese que estamos utilizando nosotros que es Zoom Zoom uh -huh. ajá hasta ahorita yo uso um, Google Meet y Zoom pero yo me quedaría con Google Meet uh -huh. Ok, anyways o la, lo habitual, ¿no? Estoy muy ya acostumbrado a Google Meet. Would. Would. That, that's what we are practicing, right? Would. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we were practicing with would for invitations, right? But we can use it in similar situations and if you remember i told you right we can use um to express imaginary situations like this case he is picturing se está imaginando right <clears throat> it would be nice to have a barbecue right when we finish the the level it would be nice to have a party yes y nos conocemos. It would be nice. Mm -hmm. I would love to visit New York. Or I would like to travel to New York. I would like to visit New York. Mm -hmm. If you see, they are picturing, they are imagining. Okay, Tatiana. She would like to be a professional footballer or she would like to be a professional soccer player. The, these sentences describe an unreal or imagined situation, a hypothetical situation. And if you remember, that's the structure. Subject, verb, auxiliary verb, with, and 
the main verb. You see? I would, I would love to visit you. I would love to visit you. Me está manchando la presentación. Look at the basic structure again with positive, negative, and question sentences. There you have affirmative, negative, and questions. I would like some tea. I would like some tea. I would like some coffee. I would like a soda, please. Mm -hmm. She would not go. In negative. She would not go with you. Or question. Would you help me, please? Would you come with me, please? Would you help me? Would you tell me the truth? Would you... What else? Mm -hmm. Would you stay with me? Mm -hmm. Would. Note that the auxiliary verb would is invariable. There is only one form, would. The main verb is in the infinitive, he would go. Mm -hmm. He would go, he would be, he would stay, uh -huh. he would eat. That's it, would go. And uh, igual, si se acuerdan, también les dije lo que significa el would, no, a la par del verbo. En este caso, he would go, el iría, el iría. He would go. He would be. Él sería. O él estaría. He would. He would travel. Él viajaría. Right? Would you like some more tea? Would you like some more tea? ¿Te gustaría un poco más de té? Would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? Now you see, again, there we have the invitation, right? But uh, as we did last night uh, or yesterday, the previous class, would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? I would be happy to help you with my preparation. We uh, help you with preparation for your exam. And that's it. If you see, a polite invitation or offer. I would be glad to hear you speak English. Would you like to do some grammar exercises? Would you like to do some grammar exercises? And that's it. Just a refresh. Recordar un poco de lo de ayer. Any comment? Any question? Take this one. Oops. We usually use um, would and wouldn't at restaurants. For example, what would you like to eat, sir? What would you like to eat, sir? Excuse me. What would you like to eat? I would like to eat pizza, please. Excuse me, what would you like to eat? I would like to have sushi, please. I would like to have sushi, please. 
Would you like to have feijoada too? No. I wouldn't like to eat feijoada. No, I wouldn't like to eat feijoada. Excuse me, what would you like to drink? Can you give me the answer? Excuse me, what would you like to eat? To drink, sorry. I would like to drink soda. A soda. Yes, I'm I'm getting hot. Yeah, I've been working too much. I need a, a lemonade like this one. Ah, very cold. I I would like to to coffee. To drink coffee. To drink coffee. Okay. What I else? I would like to drink a frozen cappuccino. Oh. Uh, Delicious. I would like to drink beer. Okay. Mm, okay. That's cool. Um, I like I don't I like it not too much. I prefer vodka, ron, tequila. <laughs> Aha, what else? What would you like to drink? I would like to drink lemonade, please. Okay, now what would you like to eat for dinner? Si acaso no han cenado. What would you like to eat for dinner today? Uh huh. What would you like to eat today? I would like to a big hamburger with bacon, cheese, and onion, cebolla tempurizada, cuaros de cebolla, onion rings. Onion rings, uh-huh. And rings. French fries, and French fries. Oh, French fries. Hey. A big size. Come on, come on, Paulina. <laughs> but come really, on. really, really. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the... terminé. Yeah, I, I'm... <laughs> y lo peor que mi cena es hasta las 10 de la noche. Well, I'm ¿qué? going to eat an orange. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Someone else. What would you like to eat for dinner? Uh -huh. No more. Ya comieron, quise. I would like to eat for dinner pizza. Okay. okay. <clears throat> good, good. I yeah. would like to eat for dinner chicken. <laughs> Chicken for dinner. Mm, okay. Uh -uh, I would. Mean. I would like to dinner. Um. Cheese, bean, beans, beans, and egg. beans, eggs, and eggs. Justo eso creo que lo voy a voy a cenar yo. Beans, cheese, an egg, coffee. Bananas. And drink, and drink chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Okay. okay. Cool. That's really cool. Someone else?
No more. Okay, more examples. Uh, affirmative sentences. I would like to drink lemonade. Again, we have the subject. Would like to. The, the verb in the base form. Okay, that's the structure. Subject would like to verb complement. I would like to drink lemonade. I would like to drink coffee. I would like to eat pizza. I would like to have spaghetti. I would like to eat at Pizza Hut. I would like to eat fast food. I would like to, to drink a soda. Affirmative sentences. And then we have negative sentences. I wouldn't like to eat feijoada. I wouldn't like to eat chicken. I'm not in a mood for chicken today. I wouldn't like to eat a salad for dinner. I wouldn't like to eat um, any soup for dinner. Uh -uh. Again, in this case, you have wouldn't for negative. Wouldn't. I wouldn't. Interrogative sentences. What would you like to drink? Oh, I would like to drink a chocolate. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to ask you similar questions. Where? Where would you like to go for vacation? Where would you like to go for vacation? I would like to go uh, to the beach. To the beach. For uh, three or four days. Oh, Not my only goodness. for one. Okay. But it's an impossible dream. It's a dream. <laughs> but I, well, in my case, I wouldn't like to go to the beach for three days. I would like to go camping. Last Sunday, I went to El Cerro Verde, Casa Cristal. And I would like to camp for two days, one night. That's something that I like. Camping. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Paulina. Someone else. The question is, where would you like to go for vacation? Teacher, I would I want to... <laughs> Go ahead. I would I would you like go um in vacation um to Tela. Where? Tela. Ruta de las Flores. Oh I I heard Tela. Tela is in Honduras, I guess. I, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Okay, thank you. Someone else. Someone else? I would like to go to Roatan. Ah, okay. Roatan. Mm -hmm. Next. Someone else? Okay. Or... Now, that was a question with where. Now, if let's suppose, okay, Paulina wants to go to the beach for three days. Well, that's okay. But now, who would you like to go with? Who would you like to go with? Uh, 
I would like to go with my husband and my children. Children, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me see. Who would you like to go to Roatan with? Oh, Swald, I guess. I would like to go with my wife. With your wife. Okay, good. And uh, Katia, who would you like to go to Ruta de las Flores with? I will I would like to go with my family. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And no more. Okay, now that's a question with who, right? So we practice what, where, and who. And another question. <clears throat> okay, Paulina would like to go to the beach for three days. Now, Oswaldo, how long would you like to stay in Roatan? How long would you like to stay in Roatan? For two weeks. Ooh, two weeks. Cool. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh huh. Ruta de las Flores, how long would you like to, to travel? I would like um, to travel with my family one day because um, my family is very big. Oh, too much money. Okay, yes. yeah. All right, now that's it, guys. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Give me a second, please. How can I how can I help you? I would like to eat breakfast, please. What would you like to have on your birthday? I would like to have a cake. What would you like to eat tonight? I would like to eat a pizza. Yummy, yummy. Oof. Delicious. Would you like to eat a pizza too, Peter? No, I wouldn't like to eat a pizza. I would like to eat a hot dog. Hot dog. What would you like to have after that? I would like to have ice cream. What would he like to drink? He would like to drink, he would like to drink green juice. And we have short answers. Uh, would he like to drink a coffee? Yes, yes he would. Yes he would. Short answer. Sencillo. Respuesta, respuesta corta. Would he like to drink a coffee? Yes, he would. Would she like to drink a Coke? Give me the answer. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Would he like to eat anything now? No, she wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. Would she like to drink anything now? No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. And you, what would you like to drink or eat now? That's what we practice. Yeah, Paulina nos... Alboroto. Okay. What else? Let me see. Uh, 
Okay, that's it. Any comment or question? <clears throat> no. No, coach. Thank you. So we're going to finish this unit with this practice. There you have some, oops, no. Some <clears throat> questions. It's a review. Un repaso. Likes and dislikes. <clears throat> I'm going to ask the question and you can answer, okay? Volunteering. When do you usually watch TV? I usually watch TV at night. Okay. What kinds of programs do you like? Um, right now, I'm watching a, a anime. Okay. Do you like reality shows? No, I don't. Do you listen to the radio? Sometimes I I listen to the radio. Who is your favorite singer? Uh, I like um, electronic music. Okay. And... But I... So in electronic music, um, there we have DJs, right? DJs. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you think of salsa? Salsa music. No salsa para pupusa. What do you think of salsa? What is your opinion about salsa? I I think that is too funny because it's it's, it's very no sé cómo decir movida este uh -huh. it's um, it's fast it's very fast. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. It's very fast. Mm -hmm. And what kinds of movies do you do you dislike? What kinds of movies do you dislike? Maybe the uh, romantic romantic oh. movies. Okay. Don't like so much. Okay. And do you like science fiction? Hmm, probably not. Okay, now if you notice, we 
we had a, a short conversation. So I need two volunteers. Uh, one person is going to ask the questions and another person is going to answer the questions. Who wants to ask? Okay, uh, Oswaldo, you ask. Paulina, you answer. Hi, Paulina. When do you usually watch? I um, do you like? I like to watch. Police, police programs. That, um, Las Vegas. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't. Do you listen to the radio? Every day. I listen to the radio every day. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Who, who is your favorite singer? That it's War Cry. Okay. My favorite band. What do you think of salsa? I don't like it. <laughs> oh. Why? Only green for the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> green okay. salsa. What is your favorite movie? Um, The Lord of the Rings. The two towers, uh -huh. the, the Lord of the Rings. What? Okay, what kinds of movies of movies do you like? Do I you dislike? dislike the romantic movies. You are not romantic. Don't like. No, or well, perhaps, but not in the movies. Okay. Do you like science fiction? Yes, I like it. Okay, me too. Thank you. Perfect. Really good. Thank you very much. Next, two volunteers. Who wants to, to ask? Nobody. Katya and who wants to um, end? Who? Sorry, my connection is not stable. So Katya and one more volunteer. Teacher, eh, la pronunciación de la palabra kings eh, es kind of kings. Kinds. What kinds? What kinds? Mm -hmm um yeah kinds what kinds okay eva answer the questions katya start the interview um yo haría las preguntas ¿sí? yes ¿Quién era? <laughs> ¿Quién era eva, que le eva. Ah, okay. eva. Eh, hi eva um, when do you usually watch TV? I usually watch TV uh, at night. 
What kinds of old programs do you like? Um, I like programs. Um, entertainment. Do you like reality shows? No, I don't. Do you listen to the radio? Uh, yes, I like... Um, um, I... Ay, se me escapó como... No sé cuál es. <laughs> Serious? Okay. <clears throat> Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Arjona. Very interesting. <laughs> um, what do you think of salsa? No, I don't. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Mm, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Do you dislike? How how dislike? How get dislike? No le gusta, lo opuesto de like, like, dislike. Ah, this... um, I... ¿Cómo respondo ahí? I dislike. I dislike. I dislike movie eh, terror. I dislike horror movies. Horror movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Do you like science fiction? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, science fiction is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. More practice. This is the um, progress check. In, in this one, vamos a recordar un poco. Oops. Happen. Okay. Prices. The no numbers and prices. The first one. Let's see. How much are the leather pants? How much are the leather pants? Choose one number. You can say, ah, oh, the leather pants are $90. Mm -hmm. Or the leather pants are $19 to practice the numbers. How much are the wool pants? The wool pants are $16. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how much is the silk shirt? $40. Silk is expensive. Yes, they are the $40. $40. And how much is the cotton shirt?
Hey, how much is the cotton? Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. And how much is the laptop computer? The laptop computer is two thousand fifty dollars. Okay. And how much is the desk? Top computer. Mm -hmm. So, but why these specific numbers? ¿Por qué estos números en específico um, tienden a confundir, no? Eh, por determinación. Eh, los teen, a partir de 13 hasta 19 son los los teens, ¿verdad? 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 Okay. Y los que tienen a a, a parecerse serían esos, ¿no? Tenemos 19 Ninety, 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 fifteen, fifty, fifty. Mm -hmm. Um, can be sixteen, sixty, sixteen, sixty, uh, fourteen, forty, thirteen, thirty, thirteen, thirty. En uh, 1880. Okay. So, this is, um, I mean, sometimes they are very, they sound similar. De hecho, and uh, I don't remember. Pero si lo escucharon o vieron el video del progress check, era eso, ¿no? De identificar cuál era el número. Okay. We finish this section. Comments, questions? Alguna, algo de este contenido? Que quisieran, yes, yes. En el verbo infinitivo no cambian los verbos. Verbo infinitivo. Um, cuando, una, cuando una estructura dice que lleva el verbo infinitivo, es o oh, se refiere a que um, el verbo no está conjugado. Por ejemplo, si decimos el verbo to be, yo digo I would like to be. <clears throat> I would like to be. To be. El verbo está en infinitivo porque no está conjugado. El verbo to be conjugado tiene tres formas. El am, is y are. Esa sería la forma conjugada del to be. Pero en la, cuando dice, ah, tiene que llevar el infinitivo, el verbo en infinitivo. O sea, no debe de ir conjugado. Uh, I would like to be. I would like to go. I would like to travel. 
a eso es lo que se refiere cuando di se dice infinitivo, que el verbo no está conjugado. No sé si es, a eso sí. se refería. Ok, gracias. Y okay. cuando es en tercera persona, tampoco no cambia. No, por eso mismo, porque no está conjugado. Si en este caso dijéramos, creo que en la presentación iban los ejemplos. He would like to eat. Entonces, eh, por ser he, eh, que recién aprendimos esa regla que agrega una S. Pero <coughs> cuando está en infinitivo, no. Sí, he would, okay. uh, he would like to eat. Aquí no sería he would like to eat. Ok. Or he would like to go. No sería he would like to go. Ok. Uh, acá no. <coughs> no. No, no, sigue esa regla. Claro. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ok. What else? No, no more. <clears throat> It's clear. Sorry, some someone. Okay, I'm checking the attendance. Alma Patricia? Present teacher. Ana Guadalupe? <clears throat> Ana Lisset, Camila Lisset, Ángel, Cristiana Dalberto, Present Teacher, Diana Beatriz, Doris Emilia, Present Teacher, Estela Marisol, Present Teacher. Eva Alicia. Present teacher. Griselda de la Paz. Herbert. Hoy no estuvo Herbert. Hoy no lo escuché. Present teacher. Ok. Hazel. Tampoco escuché Hazel. No estuvo Hazel. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. José David. Present teacher. José Luis Escobar. Present teacher. Joshua. Here teacher. Ok. Carla Patricia. Katia Verónica. Present teacher. Liliana Laura. Present teacher. Good night. Night. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Luis Antonio. Present teacher. Nidia Yamilex. Present teacher. Nuria Mayeli. Oswaldo Stanley. Present. Paulina Viñas. Present. Rosa Irma. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Present. Sarina Susana. Present.
Sonia Dolores. Tatiana María. Ok. That's it. Mm -hmm. On time. I guess. Yes, right. Uh-huh. So, um, again, for the ones who are still missing some exercises on the platform, keep on working. Okay? Keep on working. Um, sigamos trabajando en la plataforma. Okay? Don't forget it. And congratulations for the ones who finish. Good job. Very good job. Okay? And the attendance, la, la asistencia, ¿no? Um, y algo okay. que... Que diría es... Um, son varios, son varios, pero muy pocos los que intervienen, o sea, la participación activa. Estar oyendo man, puede ayudar un poquito, pero toma más, mucho más tiempo el asimilar el idioma. O sea, nos quedamos ahí, ¿no? Lo entiendo, lo leo, pero no lo hablo. ¿Sí? That's the problem. So, Thank you very much for your participation. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, Thursday. Yes, tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. See you night. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank see you. you.